there's a light rain falling and you're waiting in the car with your head out the window in the rain as you watch a star fall to earth. And on the late night radio gospel station, there's a chorus singing and they're all blue flame, black roses in the field near to midnight. Girl, you got your dashboard coffee and your cigarettes and a bottle of whiskey between the seats. And I'm soaked by the rain as I slide in next to you. And I pull the passenger door closed behind me. And the tires are hissing down the moonlight blacktop. And there's two lost dogs running along the shoulder in our headlights. You put a cigarette to your lips and I lean back into my seat and I wonder does your stepdaddy know that his 70 year old daughter is long gone. And then in the rear view mirror, there's a county sheriff's black and white. So you turn off the radio, you pull over, and you wait in silence. Your heart's beating in time to the windshield wipers. The tip of your cigarette glowing in the dark. But it's not the sheriff. Now it's 30-year-old Deputy Tim Riley. You know, the one that helped himself to your sweet innocence when you were only 14 years old. He's standing there in the rain with his flashlight and his badge and his yellow raincoat. And he gives you that patronizing lawman smile and he tells you to turn the car around and follow him back. Back to that wounded, drunken woman in that beat up shack. And your stepdaddy who's waiting there. Wants to still give you that big belt strap with your little denim shorts pulled down. And you say, okay, Timmy. Timmy, I'm coming. And the deputy puts out his flashlight. Doesn't see you reach under the car seat and pull out your father's 38. You shoot him painlessly between the eyes, and his brain dead body takes two steps backwards and lays down gently across the double yellow line. His red blood drips from his vinyl slicker and runs to clear in the warm summer rain. two lost dogs. As the water creeps up into Deputy Riley's mouth and ears, as the patrol car slides down the red clay embankment, and the mother of the bio takes Riley to her breast. And you didn't look back, and you did not say a prayer. Because they never can find those children who grow up playing in the rain. And you start the car, and you change the station. You see, we'll be in Memphis before the rain stops falling.
You know, someone once said that every disease is a cure if you can just learn how to take it. That's about the size of it.